Okay, so I'm going to react to people who have done my songs and uh, a reaction video, they call these things, and I'm probably going to hate every one of them. So we'll start from there, okay? Let's see what happens. So this first one is the reason, a song that I produced around 2003 or 2004 with Hoobastank, and there's a guy named Boyce Avenue. It's already starting poorly with that name. So... Let's see what he has to say. So I'll just hit play and see if this guy's any good. I'm not a perfect person. There's many things I wish I didn't do. But I can't you learn I never meant to do those things to you And so I have to say before I go Pretty cool that he's playing the piano part with the low notes. The song's a great song no matter who does it, to be honest. It's a really strong track. I got very lucky producing this one. And the reason is you. I'm sorry that I It's the right drum beat. I had a big fight with the drummer over this one. He wanted to kill me. He didn't want to play it straight, but it works much better like this. And all the pain I put you through. He's a good singer, this guy. I wish that I could take it all away. And He's really doing a good job on the guitar, playing all the parts. That's why I need you to hear. A little pitchy in spots, but it's okay. Miss the harmonies, but still works. This is the real hard part right here. Pretty good. It's got all the inner parts on the guitars. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I'll say one thing, that uh, last part, the high part, was a part just in the history of the song that wasn't there when we went into the studio. And that really high part in the bridge was something the uh, manager and the A&R guy asked us. They said that the song needs to be bigger. And we came up with that part in the studio, what hits the reason is you. That actually used to be at the end of the song too. We decided not to put it at the end, but really good job. Okay, so this is uh, a song called Scars that was done by Papa Roach around the same time as I did the Hoobastank record, and this is the big hit for this band, so we'll see how well this artist covers it. I tear my heart open, so my soul shut. My weakness is that I care too much. And my scars remind me that the past is real. Good enunciation. That's what I was telling Jacoby to do too. The home, I would rather have the home, but let. One thing I noticed, yeah, good harmonies. Great version, actually. I like her. The song really works well as a female vocal, actually. It was a song about hurting yourself in a relationship, but at that time in 
people were cutting themselves a lot. And Jacoby wrote it about people cutting themselves a lot. It was an analogy to the lyric, hurting yourself in a relationship too. I hear her go off a little bit though. Let's see what she does here. That was okay. I would have done that differently. I think that's the part there is where you want to hit the emotion really hard. I think she could have gone for it more. The rest of the song sounds great though. Can't be afraid though. You can't be scared. You gotta go for it. Same thing there. She needed to go for it more. You could, that's a big part of that song was getting those two moments right in the song where you are just showing that that's the apex of the of the song, the emotional part, you know. The third act, as they say. So this girl's got a really good voice. She needs to go for it a little more. Like that's something that, if I had her in the studio, I would say to her, you gotta sell those two moments more. That's really important, but band's playing it great. She just needs to be, have a real producer producer. That's the difference really that you can kind of hear it. So this song, Beating Hearts Baby is, it's a pretty, this song means a lot to me because uh, I was telling some of the people helping me with this video that this song was done really quickly in the studio. It was written on the way to the studio and I think it's his best track. And um, I played a lot of the beef, uh, the Vox organ on this. so I always love songs where I get to play on them and uh it's just a really cool song it's got a key changes in it and we'll see what they do with it it's a pretty tough one I would say to replicate but we'll see baby is in love for real let me in your arms to fail the beating of your heart baby You know, this is a good idea. It's not pulled off that well, but I like the idea that you could do this song like this. I probably would have stopped, started this song without the intro the way she did it. I would have just started right at the top of, without the chorus. This style, you don't need the chorus at the top. I mean, it's just somebody singing with a guitar. It gets a little boring, but I kind of like the, I like the what she was, what she's trying to do. I think she just needs to do it better. So this is a, a band called Seosin. Uh, produces around 2010. Very, very hard record to make band was just fighting with each other and new singer named Cove and but this album turned out so well very proud of this album it's gonna be really hard for anybody to beat these songs because of the amount of detail in them and um, 
I wish the Sayosin was here too with me because they're really, really, really critical about stuff. So I hope these people do a decent job. <laughs> Tough to sing. Just no one ever tells. Boy, this must have taken a lot of friggin' work to do. And how hard that was to produce all these vocal parts. Parts are crazy. The drummer. This guy's a great singer, actually. Pull this stuff off. Especially the drum parts, because when I did the record, I told the drummer, play whatever you want. I wanted it to be progressive. So there was no real edit. I said, just play as many parts as you want. Don't keep it too straight. This drummer's doing a great job. This is great, actually. I mean, the fact they're not adding anything extra to it, but I think this song is so full and there's so many things going on that you really, it'd be very hard to make this song to add more to it, I think you'd, it's almost just a full production already. Excellent. Yeah, good. Back when we put breakdowns in every song. Now there's a no breakdown rule. Excellent. This is really good, man. So, Less Than Jake, this band, I, I'm really good friends with these guys. I did Hello Rock View. Probably their, it is their biggest album. And then this record I did 10 years later for Warner Brothers. And uh, this is their best song on that record. I love this song. So let's see what this guy does with it. Anyway, the lyrics are so strong. This is how it was delivered to me, actually, like this this kind of demo. I believe I remember that. I mean, I don't think he's adding anything new to it, just a guy singing the song, it's like karaoke almost to me. But it's cool. I mean, it's gonna kill me for the rest of you know, I'd give it like it's a workable cover. This is my time though. Somehow it feels so familiar. Somehow it seems so familiar. He's got it all right. So nothing going on bad here. Just nothing new. Next. This song, Life After You, was written with Daughtry and Chad from Nickelback. They're the co-writers on this. And uh, this is for their second album. I remember we were in Vancouver. I was in Vancouver doing Three Days Grace's record. 
and we just didn't have a first single i don't believe we had or our second single and this song came in from both of them and i was just blown away by the song super great lyric and um you know sort of delivered like this this kind of demo acoustic demo chris sent it over and it's uh, awesome so let's see what this guy does with it Ten miles in town, and I just broke down, spitting out smoke on the side of the road. And I'm here alone, just trying to get home to tell you I was wrong, but you already know. And leave me alone, stop my face. how old this kid is but it's a workable attempt at it he'll you know grow into his voice at some point that's a little bit stronger than this he's missing notes and all that but you know he picked a great song to sing that's for sure it's really strong and he could hit the notes but you know he's not really adding anything new to it think about a lot of these covers i mean you gotta it's hard to say which ones are good or bad, but you gotta add something, either really nail it or add something of your own. Some songs you can't add something of your own because it's uh, like those sales and songs, but some stuff you can go a little bit, make it your own. Everybody, nobody's varying these melodies at all, just for, like I wish, uh, I mean, it'd be great if somebody, if some of these guys just improved on the song, you know, because I mean, there's, you can make the argument that songs are never quite finished yet. And um, I think that was the case with Hallelujah, that that song was being written and written and written, verse after verse after verse for years. And it kept getting better and better. And sometimes I like to hear songs that are just approved upon. Like, show me something new. Even if I don't like it, at least, at least you tried. But a lot of this stuff is just like, okay, you picked up a guitar and played the song, big deal, you know? So, I don't know. Not bad. Whatever. So you just saw a whole bunch of um, reaction videos to records I've produced. And I think what it shows you is that um, before you buy any plugins, it's really good to be able to sing well and to practice your art. And I've said this before on a lot of other videos that plugins are great, but what goes into the plugin is what really matters. And it's what's at the front end of the signal. And the front end of the signal is you as a singer. So you gotta deliver the goods. You gotta have your shit together. You gotta have like intensity and you have to speak the truth. The plugin is not gonna speak the truth for you. It's not gonna do it. But once you get pretty good at singing or you know, you're getting there, the plugins will definitely help you. It'll make you sound better. It'll make you sound bigger. It'll give you, you know, the help that all my other professional singers get. But they do come with, they bring the goods to the studio and that's what I would expect you to do as the artist.